Hey, welcome back, Vineyard Kids. You ready to do the rolls? All right. Rule number one is be quiet, right? Okay, show me your number one finger. Grab a bubble. <gasps> yeah, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Rule number two is stay seated, all right? You don't have to stay seated at your home, but when we come back to church, we're gonna need to sit down on the floor, right? So everybody in the back in the balcony can see, right? Yeah, we don't have a balcony yet, but maybe someday we will. Rule number three is be a good listener. That's right. And if you're doing rule number three, you have to be doing rule number one, which is be quiet. <gasps> oh, excellent job. Does anybody know what time it is? It's Bible verse time. All right, here's our Bible verse. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Hey, let's do it again. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Thanks, Sean. Oh, man, I love this Bible verse. You guys ready? Let's do it together. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. That's Psalm 139, 14. You guys want to do it one more time? It's kind of new. Okay. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. All right, you guys ready to see what the voices are? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Loudest whisper. Oh my gosh, this one's so hard. Sometimes I'm like, am I loud or am I whispering? I don't know. So let's do it together. Here we go. Loudest whisper. All right, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. <laughs> that wasn't really a whisper. Did you guys whisper? I don't know. We'll get better. All right, you guys want to do another voice? All right. Three, two, one. Pirate. Oh, oh, it's a piratey voice, it is. I probably can't do a pirate either, but do your very best. Here we go. Um, some people like to have a hook. You can do that if you want. I praise you because I am fearfully, oh, okay, not a hook. Because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139.14. Oh, you guys make great pirates. All right. Third voice, it's going to be a surprise. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sloth again. Oh, man. A lot of you guys said you wanted to hear sloth, so we're going to do sloth again. You guys ready? Okay. Oh, got to do it really, 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 really slow. Okay. I praise you because I am fearfully, good job, and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. <laughs> Hamilton. Oh man, I bet he left us a clue. Let's see what it is. It's always the strangest things. Look, he gave me a flashlight. Wonderful. Okay, don't look directly into a flashlight. That hurt my eyes. Hmm. What if this is a ghost story? Ooh, uh, no, you think? Hmm. I don't know. Why would I need a light? Oh, I know what. I know what this is about. 
All right, you guys ready? This is the Bible. That's right. And the Bible is God's word. And God's word is true. That's right. Good job, you guys. So today we're going to talk about creation, right? How God made everything. And I mean everything, okay? So there was God and there was nothing. Nada. Zilch. Goose egg. Not even, no, not a goose egg. Nothing. There was nothing. And God said these words. He said, let there be light. What? Like, like my flashlight. Get it? Okay. And there was light. And he said, when it's light, we're going to call that mm, day. And when it's dark, we're going to call that night. And he looked around and he said, mm, it is good. Say that with me, guys. It is is good. One more time. It is good. Oh, yeah. So then uh, God said, mm, let's see, what should I do now? Oh, I know. I will separate out the water and the land, right? And I will make a sky. And he was like, I'm just going to separate stuff out because you don't want stuff wet all the time, right? And, and, and sometimes you want to get on dry land and then sometimes you want to be in the water and well, I'll just make both. So he made the dry land and he made the wet sea and the wet water and the oceans and the lakes and all that good stuff and waterfalls, all that good stuff, okay? And then he looked up at the sky and it was this beautiful long stretch of blue and he was like, this is so pretty, but I just feel like it needs something else, right? And so he took and he took and he made this big ball of gas and he put it up and he's like, Whoa, that is bright. Do not look directly at that. Oh, man. And he said, that's that's going to be called the, um, what is it? What is it, guys? You've, oh, the sun. That's right. And the sun was hot, and it was bright, and it was awesome. But, but at nighttime, he was like, oh, I need something at night even more because it's dark. So he's like, oh, I know. I'll put the moon up here, and the moon will reflect the sun. And, and, and it will light up people's paths so when they're strolling along the beach, they can see stuff. But it was still kind of dark. So he said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put stars in the sky. And he put stars and stars and stars and stars up in the atmosphere everywhere. So it was sparkly and, and, and shiny. And he said, it is good. He was good. With, oh, man, he loved that so much. Let's say that together. It is good. Yes. Oh, man. So... Then he was like, well, I should make something else. And he looked at the land and he's like, I know. I'll make trees and bushes and grass and weeds and flowers that can grow. They'll need the water, but they'll grow on the land. And so that's what he did. He made everything, every kind of bush, every kind of tree. And he said, it is good. It was so good. And he looked in the sky and he was like, hmm, I think I need to put some, some living things up in the sky. So he took and he made fish, right? He put them in the sky. I don't think that's right. Is that right? No. Where'd he put the fish? He put the fish in the water, right? He made an octopus and he made squids and he made, he made um, goldfish and seahorses and clownfish and any kind of fish that ends in fish, right? And, and and then he said, well, wait a minute, I still need something in the sky. So he made birds that fly in the sky, right? He made robins and canaries and eagles and ravens, every single kind of bird that there possibly is. And then there was a day when he decided he was going to make something that walked on the land, right? So he made animals. He made tigers, he made lions, he made armadillos, he, he made platypus, he did, he made it on purpose. He made a platypus on purpose. I can't believe it, but he did. And, and he, he put, let's see, what else did he put? He put um, 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 geckos, yeah, he even put geckos, and snakes, and everything that crawls or walks on the land, he put on the land. And then he looked around and he said, hmm, that's good. It is good. Say it with me, guys. It 
is good. But then he decided he was going to make the most special thing of all. It's not ice cream. I know you might think it's ice cream, but it's not. It's something even better than ice cream. He took the dust, right? And he formed a little person. And then he breathed on it. Right? And he breathed life into this little person. And this person turned into the first man. His name is, you guys know this, right? Adam, that's right. His first name is Adam. And, and, and God and gave me the first man. And he was so excited and happy. But he realized, hmm, he needs a partner. So he took one of his ribs out, like when he was sleeping, not just like, you know, out of the blue. But he took one of his ribs out and he made a partner for him. He made a woman and he called her Eve. Yeah, you guys know that. And Adam and Eve, they were so happy together. And they walked in the Garden of Eden with, with God in the daytime. And, the, and they named the animals and they pet the animals. And God looked and he said, it is good. And you know the secret about that is? He made the first people. But he also made us. Look, he made our hands. He made our feet. He made this head. He was like, I'm going to make a really big head. And he put the big head on me. He made hair. Took some of it away. Gave a little bit back. You know. But he made us. He made you and he made me. If he made you, raise your hand. You should all be raising your hand. <laughs> oh, good job, guys. Don't forget, just scroll down. You got your coloring pages. Um, there's some great activities to do with your moms and dads. And at three, no, wait, wait, we, st we changed it. Six o'clock on every Wednesday, we're going to get together and we're going to talk about um, cool stuff and we're going to play cool games like what's in the bag or something like that. And uh, I really, really would love for you guys to come. So have your moms and dads email me so I can give them the information so you can be there. I'd love to see your faces, guys. All right, you guys ready to pray? All right, hands in the air, hands on your head, hands on your knees. Not your knees. Okay, ready? Hands in the air, wiggle your fingers, put them together, blink your eyes closed, repeat after me. Hi, God. It's us and Vineyard Kids. Thank you for our teachers and helpers. Thank you for our family and friends. We love you, God. Amen. Hey, guys, see you next week.